Groundhog Day. Valentine's Day was only two weeks away and Moose was planning a grand party. You need Valentine balloons, said Squirrel, and Valentine cards, said Bunny. And don't forget the Valentine hugs, pointed out Porcupine. Everyone has to come to my party, said Moose. Uh-oh, Bunny said. That's a problem. What's the problem, Moose asked. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, Bunny said. If Groundhog sees his shadow, he'll go back into his hole for six more weeks. He won't be awake on February 14th. Good point, Moose said. If we stop him from seeing his shadow, then he can come to my party. I've got it, said Squirrel. I'll sneak into his hole and change his calendar so he won't know it's February 2nd. Your chattering will wake him up, said Porcupine. I'll blindfold him when he comes out. Your quills might poke him in the eye, said Bunny. I'll put up a tent over his hole. He'll know he's not outside, Moose said. I'll sit on his hole so he can't come out. Calendar, Moose, blindfold, Moose, tent, Moose, bellowed Moose. The animals bickered all night long. They didn't notice the black sky turning gray. They didn't notice the pink light of morning creeping over the hills. And they didn't notice Groundhog's nose twitching at the entrance to his hole. Until it was too late. The animals watched helplessly as Groundhog dove back into his hole. Wait, Moose thundered. Groundhog's muffled voice barely reached the surface. I need to stay down here. There are shadows all over the place up there. Moose was puzzled. Groundhog, are you afraid? Is that why you go back into your hole? Well, you could say that, Groundhog called. I didn't realize Groundhog was afraid of shadows, said Squirrel. Me neither, said Porcupine. Shadows aren't scary, said Bunny. They are scary to Groundhog, Boo said. Animals sat quietly thinking. Hey, Groundhog, Moose finally said. What if we showed you just how awesome shadows are? I'll show you the way leaves blowing in the wind make shadows dance. I'll show you how to draw silhouettes, said Bunny, using shadows. I'll show you how clouds cast shadows on the hills, said Squirrel. I want to show Groundhog my shadow puppet, said Porcupine. Dancing shadows, Moose said. Cloud shadows, Squirrel said. Silhouettes, Bunny said. Shadow puppets, said Porcupine. Wait, said Groundhog. He eased out of his hole. Can't we do all of them? They all sound like fun.
the animals spent the day showing Groundhog all the amazing shadows they could discover and create. They were all fun, especially Porcupine's shadow puppets. It's a comb. It's a feather. It's a buzzsaw. It's sunshine. Finally, late that night, what a wonderful day, Groundhog said. But I really do have to go back into my hole now, he shivered. Six more weeks of winter, you know. But you're not afraid of shadows anymore, Moose protested. Now you don't have to miss my Valentine's Day party. I may not be afraid, Groundhog said, but it is cold up here. But there aren't any balloons in your hole, said Squirrel, or Valentine's Day cards, said Bunny, or Valentine's hugs, said Porcupine, pointedly, pointedly. Nope, but my hole is warm, said Groundhog. He looked at his disappointed friends. We can at least have hugs before I go. Ground hugs all around with a special Groundhog Day nose kiss for you, Porcupine. That works for me. Happy Groundhog Day, said Porcupine. Six weeks later, Groundhog emerged from his den just in time to don a green hat. Let's have a St. Patrick's Day party, he hollered. We're all here. All but Bunny, Squirrel reminded Groundhog. Where's Bunny, Groundhog asked. Oh, you know Bunny, Moose said. He's always holed up this time of year. The end.